One day, Loki was in the mood for doing some mischief. So they borrowed Frigg's falcon suit and traveled into Jotunheim. They ended up at the home of a Jotun named Garrod who spotted them spying from a window. Garrod sent a servant to catch his avian intruder, and Loki decided to amuse himself by watching him struggle up to the window. It was a slow day, alright? But when the servant reached Loki, they discovered they were stuck to the windowsill and were caught. Garrod could tell Loki wasn't any ordinary bird, so he locked them in a box to starve. After three months, Loki finally revealed their identity and promised Garrod if they were let go, they'd bring Thor to his home without his hammer and magic belt to defend himself with. This turned out not to be a very difficult scheme to pull off, as Thor is always down for a chance to kill some Jotuns, and a handicap to spice things up was only a bonus as far as he was concerned. On their way to Garrod, however, Thor and Loki stopped at the home of Grid, the Jotunus mother of the Aesir god Vidar. She warned Thor to watch out for Garrod's mischief, and then lent him a new belt of strength, some iron gloves, and a staff called Gridaval. So, never mind about the handicap. I guess. Also, it's not 100% clear whether the iron gloves given to Thor were his iconic gloves Yarngraper, since Yarngraper just means iron gloves. Was Snorri talking about THE Yarngraper, or just A Yarngraper? No gloves are mentioned in Thor's Droppa, an earlier skaldic rendition of this story, so we're just gonna shrug and move on. Anyway, then their path took them to the river Vimer, and Loki latched onto Thor as he started wading across it. But halfway through, the tide began to rise higher and higher, threatening to drown the gods. And that's when Thor looked upstream and noticed Garrod's Jotunus daughter Gjalp straddling the river and, quote, causing the river to rise. Interpret that how you will. So Thor picked up a rock. If you want to stem a river, you gotta cut it off at its source. <laughs> Ow. And then, finally, Thor and Loki arrived at Garrod's home. Why, hello, my long-awaited guests. I hope you didn't have to face any treachery on your way here. <laughs> I have a perfectly cordial dinner planned for this evening, but I'm sure you're wary from your long travels. So why don't you take some time to relax in my luxury guest suite? <laughs> I called the chair. So Thor popped a squat in his room, but once he sat down, the chair started rising, and he realized Garrod's daughters, Gjalp and Grape, were underneath pushing him up to the ceiling. So Thor took Gridaval and stuck it into the ceiling, while pushing down hard with his legs against the force of his assailants. Huh? <coughs> <laughs> the old chair trick? Do these people think I was born yesterday or something? You f***ing scare me, man. Afterward, Thor was invited to meet with Garrod inside his hall. Hey, so I feel kind of embarrassed, but I think I should come clean and say I wasn't 100% honest about why I invited you here. You're trying to kill me, right? Yeah, yeah, I really hate you and want you to die. Fair enough, the feeling's mutual. And you're also probably mad that I just killed your two daughters? Oh, for sure, I'm absolutely gutted. They were my pride and joy. All that drives me now is a burning desire for revenge. And I'm assuming now you've prepared another devious surprise attack that I just walked into? Yeah, you totally got me. Alright, prepare to die. Then Garrod used tongs to pull a lump of molten iron out of the fire and flung it at his enemy. But Thor caught the projectile with Grid's iron gloves. Well, sh**, I'm out of ideas. And then Garrod hid behind a pillar. But Thor swung his arm and tossed the hot iron straight through the pillar, Garrod, and the outer wall of the hall. Yeah, this was a very unsatisfying turn of events and now I'm dead, blah. Well, I guess it all just goes to show. Whenever... Uh... If you wanna... Be... Um... Alright, there's not really a moral to this story, I just had a lot of fun killing people. <laughs>